Hey artists, it's Miss Evans. I'm gonna walk you through the steps of creating your own self-portrait. And this can be taken either way, more simplified, more detailed um, to fit your needs. But we're all gonna start with our basic face shape. And you're gonna think about your paper composition. So we need space for our face, our neck, our shoulders, and our hair. So when you draw your face, you're gonna leave space for all those things, but you still wanna use up your paper. So we always say that saying, draw light until you've got it right. So you're gonna push lightly when you start, actually for all your lines, you're gonna push lightly. And you see, I'm just trying to come up with a face shape that matches mine. So I know that my face is sort of oval and pointed at the end. So think about your face shape and what makes it yours. And that's the face shape you'll draw. And then I can always erase the lines I don't need super easily because I push lightly. After you have your face shape, you're going to move on to your neck. And your neck is probably gonna be skinnier than you think it should be. And it's gonna come from your chin. So there's our neck, two lines pointing down. And we're going to end it with our shoulders, which are going to come out at an angle. And they're going to go down off your page. Still pushing super light. And today I'm wearing a shirt that has an oval neck. So I'm going to draw a little scoop down. So you can draw your shirt. And then it's time for our ears. So on both sides of our face, we're gonna add an ear. You might have earrings on, you could certainly draw your earrings. And then it's time to think about our hair. So your hair might be up today, it might be gelled, it might be cut short, might be curly, maybe it's in a ponytail or a scrunchie. Maybe you're wearing a hat, you could certainly draw your hat. All of us have a hairline that is above our ears. Even if you have such short hair, you're gonna kind of draw that line. And if you um, are drawing a part, you would part your hair as well. So my hair is parted on that side. And then my hair is gonna come up. It usually comes up higher than you think it should because we have our skull underneath our hair, right? So my hair is gonna come up your hairstyle may be different, so you can draw your hair. And if you have any of your shoulder, if your hair is longer, you can erase any of that line you don't need anymore. And if your hair is long, you notice that I drew some lines back here that stop at my shoulder because we, our hair grows in the back as well. All right, next we get to think about our facial expression. So there are lots of ways to show different emotions. It could be what emotion you're feeling right now or maybe you wanna make one up. And I like to start with my eyes, and our eyes are going to be in line with our ears. So right in this area. And you can do your eyes as detailed or as simple as you like. I know some students love to do reflection in their eyes when they draw eyes in the art room. You could have your eyes closed. Maybe you're winking. Maybe you have glasses on. I'm going to start with sort of a simple eye shape. And my eyes, I know, are sort of like almond shape or football shape. Your eyes may be different, so you'll draw your eye shape. And I know that I have some eyelashes. And I have some on the bottom. And then I also have an iris. We all have an iris. That's the colored part of your eye. 
And our iris actually gets cut off a little bit on the top. So you don't see a full circle. It's just cut off a little bit. And then our pupil is the black part of your eye. And something else that's great for showing expression is our eyebrows. So our eyebrows are going to be above our eyes. We all have different shape eyebrows. You can draw the outline of a shape or you could draw the individual hairs if you want to show texture. And then we're ready for our nose. There are lots of ways to draw a nose. You can draw just a simple line like this. You could even extend it up. Um, a more detailed way to draw a nose is from straight on. I like to start with a curve at the bottom I draw each side and then I draw lightly the arch and then I draw a little mark right there to show that it's sort of three dimensional. And then we're gonna do our lips and this is a great time for you to show emotion as well, whether you're grinning or thinking. I'm gonna do sort of a grin All right, and then I sometimes also like to do a little line for my chin. And then if you have any other characteristics, for example, I know that I have lots of freckles under my eyes. Now is the time where you're at, you, are, you will add all your special things that make you special, that make you different than your neighbor.